So you're thinking about becoming a barber, right? Or you just want the best barber kit you could possibly find. Here's the best ultimate guide in 2023. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be starting off with the most important product of them all. That is our clipper. In my personal opinion, the FX is the best for either a beginner barber or an experienced barber because it has the best quality and the cutting experience is definitely top notch. Keep in mind, there's so many other machines out there that you could choose from, but this one is fully metal. It is fully custom so you can literally choose anything from the color that you want this lever to this button right here and then like the bottom cap anything on this clipper is customizable as well as these stands once I place it on there I don't have it plugged in but it should charge on there and you're gonna go it'll go perfect with your station they also give you the option to choose from a fade blade to a wedge blade a surgical whatever you like whatever color you'd like on a blade they have that option as well so what I would say is the build quality on this is amazing if you wanted to switch anything out by yourself it's super easy it serves its purpose by far and i would definitely suggest this clipper right here it's my all-around clipper there's no other clipper i'd like to choose from but i do have one specifically just for bulk and let's go over that now if you saw last year's version of the video you know that this is the exact same setup i always run i absolutely love the senior to shred down all the hair if they want all their bulk off the senior to shred down bulk and the fx is to do every other fading technique absolutely kills and i definitely haven't tried a better setup than this so definitely give this a try and let's get on to our trimmers now as expected you know that the babyless fx's are by far my favorite trimmer i always say it on this channel and i probably always will because until they make a better trimmer than this this is by far the one ahead of all the rest this is the workhorse for me and i really can't do it without it to be honest now this year i am doubling up on everything so if you don't want to spend the extra money on doubling up then i would definitely go with my first choices in this video this is definitely my first choice for the trimmers but this trimmer is by far the best for bulk setting in baselines and working on beards it will not disappoint and keep in mind babyless also offers a charging stand for your trimmers so you could have your entire station matching perfectly anyways let's get on to the other trimmer which is the fx3s the fx3s are amazing and i would say this is also a very good trimmer but it's one that you have to keep careful these i use more for like lineups and design work because i think they're the best for that type now if i'm being honest i don't know if i'd recommend these to beginner barbers but i would say if you give it a try you definitely know how hard you should press on someone after you nick them a couple times because this is definitely a trimmer that's very zero gap and it comes like that straight out the box so i would definitely suggest you pick up a pair see what's up and uh if you want to pick anything up go ahead and use my code marty10 and you could get literally a lot of money off this entire set now i know i sound like a fanboy right now but come on you have to give respect where it's due and babyless has outdone themselves in every little aspect when it comes to literally the best machines so on to our shaver now the shaver of my choice of course is the babyless fx's and really because they're fully metal uh not a lot of people make fully metal shavers so if i drop it i'm in good hands and i am gonna go on the go and i will have no problem i don't like worrying too, too much about like my machines and whatnot so having to toss this in like a bag or whatever and then just going about my day uh getting haircuts in or whatever then i know this is perfectly safe so but yeah on to the other shaver now the second option for the shavers today is the fx3s and i do suggest you try these out because not only do they shave as good but i do tend to find that these probably last a little longer and i definitely love that because I know that if these are uncharged and these are in my barber bag or whatever, I know these have battery. This is the second option that I would have from the regular FXs, but the fact that these come customizable and whatnot, make it the first one because I just love the way the aesthetic looks. I don't need to worry about this one being all crushed up. This one's kind of plasticky, so I don't really know what to expect from this one, but hey, nothing's ever happened to them. These shavers are both amazing, and let's get on with the other products in this video. The next product that needs to be in a barber kit, from my opinion, is the the MB translucent guards, not only because they are from yours truly, but see, most clippers already come with guards, but the fact that they're all black, they're just so subtle and you can't really tell like everything else in a barber kit is kind of black and basic. So if you have these, then you're able to tell which is which and they'll literally pop out of your stations. I also do want to mention that these clips are compatible with anything from the babyless I mentioned earlier to the FX's as well. So keep that in mind. And if you want to go with something matching like this, it is definitely worth it. All right. So on 
on to our next product. Now the next thing you'll need, and I really don't think you can do without this because I don't think clients want hair all up on them, but you're gonna need some capes. But these are MB capes, and trust me, I spent so much time creating these and trying to get the right manufacturers and the right fabric was very difficult, but we managed to get them and we do have them in a white and black colorways. So keep in mind, you will need a cape. If you do want MB capes, then they will be available at martyguns.com. Now along with capes, you're gonna need neck strips in order to keep reusing the same cape throughout the day. So make sure you get a set of neck strips. The next thing you'll need are hair clips. And I personally love the color track croc clips because they are jumbo sized. They do grasp much more hair than other clips. They are stronger. And one thing I will know is that whenever you wet that hair and you're putting these on, these are rubberized. So they have sort of some type of grip that will help you out throughout like the process of the cut. So keep that in mind. Love these. On to the next product. Next, we have the biggest object of them all in this kit. And this is our Dyson blow dryer. Do you need a Dyson blow dryer? You really don't. You just need a blow dryer. But this is the best barber kit in my opinion. So if you want the best, then you're gonna have to pay a little bit more. But definitely, I'd say this is very well worth it. It does come with a bunch of different attachments. Everything is magnetic. So it just clips on and you're doing your thing. Anyways, you gotta have a blow dryer. And having a very good one like this means you won't have to buy another one for a very long time. So on to the next product. All right, guys. So I'm pretty sure you guys knew this was coming, but we got a bunch of combs and brushes here. So let me explain what these are all for. Now, the next thing you're gonna need is a fade comb. And you could probably argue the fact that you could do without one of these. Trust me, these will make your life so much easier. All you gotta do to get that little excess hair off is just angle it. They literally fit perfectly to a blade. So you'd be so much better off using a fade comb than just a regular comb. So make sure you save your life by using one of these. They're like a dollar or so. So keep that in mind. Next thing you'll need is a duster because you don't wanna have your client full of hair during the cut. You wanna brush off every single little hair you see throughout the cut using a duster. So definitely get one of these. This is probably my kind of favorite duster because it definitely fits perfectly in the hand like so. So if you wanted to grab it like this and then just brush so easy, everything will be linked down below in the video. This is definitely a must cop right here. I really haven't seen many Barbies using this, but trust me guys, once you start using this, can't go back. Guys, in order to make those beautiful pompadours or those nice comb overs, you're gonna need a styling brush. Any styling brush is good. They're all kind of the same. There are wider teeth and thicker ones, but generally speaking, they kind of all do the trick. Most importantly, something you're always holding on that non-cutting hand is barber brushes. So keep that in mind. You're gonna need barber brushes when you are cutting in order to have everything clear and visible to keep cutting and doing your work. Now, I do want you guys to note that the brushes and combs I just showed you guys are very important. I wouldn't have them in this video, but this is the most important comb right here. This is actually an Allegro comb. They're not just any combs. Um, I recently found out about Allegro combs and I'm like, damn, these are actually really sturdy. They're pretty good in size and the teeth are very soft, but not too soft. So definitely look at the Allegro combs. All right, so next, every barber will need hair products. So what I have in hand is something shiny like the Hanza Fuko and Statement Grooming Goods Dry Clay. So that's what I like working with, something matte, something shiny, and then some type of styling powder. This is the Slick Gorilla Volumizing Powder. So definitely can't live without these. Definitely need to style your clients after the haircut is done so they can see the final product. But keep in mind, you have to top these products off with hairspray. So don't forget that this has got to be hairspray. You could literally get out your nearest Walmart. Something you will need in order to prep that hair before styling is this spray bottle right here. And it's truly just a spray bottle that sprays out water. You could get one at Walmart. It probably won't look like this. That one has an automatic spray. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, let's get on to the entire shaving product. This is 245 shaving gel. I love the little tip so you could actually apply it on the corner of every lineup or whatever. You must have it around because sometimes people have dry skin and you definitely need shaving gel. Barbering is probably known for this tool right here where you you will need a razor holder and a razor blade. Well, razor blades because you will need a bunch if you're cutting a lot. But yeah, razor blades and a razor holder, must haves. This in specific is the Irving razor holder. And I really truly love this one because it's kind of magnetic and it has like its little whirling mechanism, which makes the blade just stay in there intact. And the Darko blades right here. So Darko blades, Irving razor holder. Can't live without that. Next product. Now, in order to top off any shave or haircut in general, you're gonna need aftershave to close up those pores. So what I do have here is the Clubman Original Scent. I love this thing right here. If you've ever smelled this, man, it smells like an old barbershop. So definitely give this a try if you haven't. What I do suggest is you kind of pour this into like a little spray bottle because it's 
it's not going to be quite a good experience if you're just slapping it onto your clients and whatnot. So definitely keep that in mind. Get a little spray bottle. I found these on Amazon, a little translucent. It's just nice like this. And the spray mechanism just works perfectly. So, oh man, I definitely suggest this 100%. Next up, we do have our JW shears and uh, these are the CSL series. So we have our blending CSL, our cutting CSL series, and then we have our feather styling razor, which is actually a new addition to this year's barber kit. Those three things right there that you will need. Do not go around them. Guys, this year I did decide to add in enhancements because to be honest, there's a lot of people that use them nowadays and I personally do sometimes. This is a master airbrush. It's probably one of the cheapest on Amazon. So literally any airbrush will work as long as it just sprays out some kind of paint, then it will work on any scalp. The problem is what kind of paint do you get and what exactly do I use? The Tomb 45 paint because I find that it's the best. This is the brown colorway, the brown black colorway, but there is black paint as well as a more reddish paint if you wanted to get that. Tomb 45 does offer that, so you were to pour this up in here. Now, aside from the airbrush, if you did want something more natural, then you would want to go with something like a hair fiber. But if you do put on too much, it will exceed the expectations. Like, it really looks so fake. But keep in mind, this is a very good alternative if you are not necessarily looking for just like anything but maybe a filler or something like that. This is perfect for that. Now, finally, in order to spray on those two enhancements correctly, you will need some kind of card. I like using the clutch card by Tomb 45 because it has this little like measurements or whatever right here. It also has this little corner and it's little round shape for, for beards and whatnot. So I absolutely love this thing. Comes in clutch all the time, literally. And uh, yeah, if you're working with enhancements, definitely go with the Tomb 45 clutch card. Next, you will need your disinfectants. Do not go around them. Those people that come into your chair, trust you enough to cut their hair they should trust you enough to be sanitary so keep that in mind this is very important your barber side somewhere to put your barber side in obviously follow the rules in the back clipper spray to spray on your clippers after every client and chip shape because you want to toss everything in there once you are completely done for the entire day and clean out everything thoroughly so ship shape is a must-have all these are must Finally, a really important piece to my kit is the screwdriver bit set. Um, guys, you do need one of these. And once you come into contact with the situation, you're gonna thank me because you have this around. You're gonna need to take some tools apart or sometimes. Or... Anyways, guys, thank you so much for sticking with me through the entire video. Comment down below if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not yet. Thank you so much for all the love and support. It's been Marty Blends and I'm out. Peace.